Hi everyone, it's Nectarvia again with Sophistication. I'm here with another soaping video. I am so sorry about this background noise. I am in my soaping studio, which is my basement. And the furnace just won't turn off. So I've tried waiting around for it. I thought about turning it off, but I didn't think my husband would appreciate that. In today's video, I revisit the clamshell technique, which was taught in Amy Warden's Soap Challenge Club. Highly recommend it to any of you soapers out there. But in the Soap Challenge Club, we learned from Terry Ensley of Tree Marie Soapworks, the clamshell technique. If I can figure out how to link videos within this, I will link somewhere here or here or I don't know, somewhere, a link to one of my other videos where I um, demonstrated the clamshell technique. But for today's soap, I decided to revisit the technique and try pouring from a different spot of the mold. So the clamshell technique involved pouring the soap in the end of the mold. And these are the soaps that I made as part of that part in the labels, but you can see they look kind of like little clamshells in there. There were a couple I did with that, um, with that technique. These are, this is another one that I did with that. So what I wanted to do was check out this technique, but see what would happen when I poured from the side instead of the end. And what did I get? This. Oh my gosh, I just wanna share this fragrance is Peace and Love Fragrance Oil from Nurture Soap. And I think it's my new favorite scent. I don't know, there are so many that I try that I love, but I don't even know how to explain it. Um, mm, mm. I ended up adding the whole bottle to this. Although frankly, I think you could still use more. <laughs> but anyhow. That's some good smelling soap. Come on in and I'll show you how I made this soap. This is the first time that I tried making my lye solution ahead of time. Now there are a couple of issues. One is you can see that not all of the lye dissolved. Two is that at the bottom of this container is a ton of lye that never dissolved. So it was just a block down at the bottom. So what actually happened was I used an old lye container and thought, ooh, perfect container to mix my lye solution in because there's a cover as well. Well, the lye solution got so hot it started to actually warp the bottle. I couldn't shake it up. So all that lye solution just kind of stuck to the bottom. So not the way I'll do it again in the future. I got to refigure that one out. But I added some more water and then got going on making my soap as I normally do. I scented this soap with Peace and Love fragrance oil from Nurture Soap, and I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, I was gonna add some and I added, just ended up adding the whole bottle. Um, this is actually, I guess, very similar to Lush's The Olive Branch. So um, it's not affiliated with Lush in any way, but I guess that is what it's similar to. So the colors I used in this soap were activated charcoal, titanium dioxide, and then from Brambleberry, I used gold sparkle, cappuccino, and raspberry micas. From Mad Micas, I used spicy tomato, bright yellow raincoat, Aphrodite, and twilight. And from Nurture Soap, I used neon yellow. And now I'm just trying to figure out what colors am I going to mix together for my clamshell. Looks like this is it. For the clamshell, you put multiple colors into the same pouring pitcher. Now, 
I didn't have enough pouring pitchers. So I ended up just putting the colors from two into one. And you'll see as I continue to pour that eventually that actually doesn't work out because you start to run out of one color or two colors. And so I ended up just kind of switching pictures at different times and figured I'd just see how that turned out. Now the difference with this clamshell pour versus the one that was done as part of the Soap Challenge Club is that the Soap Challenge Club pour was poured from the end of the mold as opposed to the side of the mold which is what I'm doing here. So I was just curious how that would change the look of the bars when they were cut when pouring from the side. And now I will leave you to watch the pours in peace without my <laughs> vocal interruptions. Okay, one more interruption. So I was trying to keep the colors from melding together and so I tried to use those spatulas and it didn't work. So I just figured go back and do whatever comes out. just dropped a soap. Aww. I got a little bit of it I had so much fun making the soap. Doo, doo, doo. 